Hello Magpie! Today we're gonna focus on this one. The yellow synth. The synth that is in so many of my videos, I get asked all of the time what it is. So I figured even though it's old, it's not, no longer in production even, uh, I might as well make a video. Cause there isn't a lot of videos on it out there. Crittering Guitori! That was... Not great pronunciation, pronunciation. Ugh. Critter and Guitari is the brand. They have a very specific aesthetic. They also have other things that they have made. And now I think they only have two things on the market, which is the Organelle V2 and the not ETC V2, but a sort of ETC V2, which is a video synth. What makes Critter and Guitari stuff stands out is bright colors, solid colors, <laughs> and wooden buttons, I guess. And then there are other things like how these are woody wood on the backside, then always like open battery on old things. The yellow synth that we're gonna focus on now works on four AA batteries, and they also always have a power in. This one has MIDI in, MIDI out, uh, which is really good for just syncing a MIDI clock. I'm gonna show you why in a second. First, let's get these two out of- This is the Pocket Piano, which has a ton in common with the Septavox, which is the yellow one. This is a bass synth that is called the Balsa Bass, that I don't use much, because you can do stuff with this one that I'm also gonna show you. It doesn't have a speaker, uh, because it's probably too low to be working in a small speaker like that. You can sequence with it and you, you can do like a record thing with it. I don't know, it's not my favorite. I don't use it much. Well, when I use it, I, I like using it. This one, however, has very much in common with the yellow one. It's like a smaller family member. They sort of both start up in red and that's a similar mode. I can just show you with speaker real fast. Vibra mode. Vibra mode. These two buttons are basically these two buttons. Over here, you have different modes with different things happening. And each mode has a color. It's very intuitive, super simple. Over here, we have different waveforms. On this one, we have different modes the modes are not necessarily equal, like uh, some of them are, like arpeggiators, uh, but on this one, pink is like a glitchy, but on this one, it's just a synth mode where this one just is an octave. It's an octave in two modes, I think, maybe three, but in others, it's waveforms. So in some modes, that's sort of the same, but this one has uh, more limited waveforms. It's like the classic one, sine, square, saw, triangle, maybe. This one, however, has a thing that this one is lacking because this one is more performance, play-oriented. Uh, this one, you can hold some whatever and then lock it. So that's a really cool function because then you can clock sync it and you can just have it going and you plug it into a couple of pedals and it's just being there, being really cool. Can't do that with this one. On both ones, this is always volume. That one. And this one is always pitch. You can have four at the same time. I like those two chords. How toy feely is it? My one might ask because it certainly has a toy looking aesthetic. Uh, not at all, <laughs> I would say. This one is quite hefty. 
first gear video where we weigh weigh the gear. Can you see that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like solid some metal. I haven't felt the teenage engineering yellow modular things, but I think this is better metal. Might be the same. Uh, these ones have this wood here, so they are lighter. And they feel, still feel kind of nice, but this one feels really solid in the build. Uh, the batteries... <laughs> Ding dong! Come in! Like, even though you don't have a, like a backplate, which I love that you don't have, by the way, uh, they are stuck in there. And this one, you can shake it out, because it's a 9 volt. But I don't know why you would sh shake these. <laughs> But you can if you want. They come in pretty fucking expensive uh, on the second-hand market. Just to give you the price right away, okay? Inflation. <laughs> like, it's more than 350 bucks. That's where I think it lands, sort of ballpark. Which is... It's made together with Third Man Records as well. Uh, which is kind of cool. So they've made it in yellow and black, of course. They have these wooden keys. So it's just like a keyboard. You know, but they are tiny wooden ones. But I really like it. I really like playing this. You got a far reach. Obviously, it's, it's nothing like playing keys. It's, if you don't get that right out the gate, then you're stupid. They feel better than you might think that they do. Probably a piece of rubber on, on the other side of the wooden key. So it's like, it, it's very soft to play but with some resistance and you can kind of hear it the only thing that isn't optimal with it is like MIDI controlling something like a vocoder where you have to have a mic because of that sound this is very satisfying to press this like it feels cool in your fingertips. But for someone like me, who is a crap keyboard player, I'm, I'm really bad at playing keys. Uh, this is more fun. Some things that you can do with it as well is if you hold this button when you turn it on, it's one octave lower. Volume. And if you hold this one, it's an octave higher. So when I want to do bass stuff, I just go an octave lower. Can't even hear it now. So let's plug it in. Ha! <laughs> Segway! Standard quarter inch. That's all you get. All you get. You also get like a menu down here where you get all like what the colors correspond to. Dirty sign, sign, electric organ, square, sawtooth, dirty square, computer. And then what the two first knobs, they are all like funky knobs. Do different things in every mode. Still very basic things though. But like you understand it very fast, but it's like rate and depth in the vibrato mode. And then glide time and amount in the slide mode. Rate and envelope in the two octave arp. Attack and decay in the swell mode. Rate and envelope in the octave cascade. Rate and pattern in the slicer. Glide time modulation in the pipe glide. And then we have the MIDI out, MIDI in. And, and you can set the MIDI thingies up differently if you want to. But I've never done that. I just plug a MIDI into it. <laughs> to clock sync modes such as the ARP mode. You have speed here. But when it's synced with something, then it's um, picking like quarter, eighth, sixteenth notes instead with this one. Right? And then envelope. So since it's so basic, like that's my favorite mode. I use that mode a lot. And then I, I like to go to the vibro mode and then have no effect whatsoever. Play a waveform, put down some chords. 
that's why I use it so much for in videos. I pick a waveform here. We have all the different ones. Oh, it starts on red. C major. And I play the chords that I want to have in the song. It's like a one trick pony. It's the less is more. Another wordings that people use for the same shit. You get what I mean? It's very... It is what it is. <laughs> well, this is the third one. But it's, it's simple like that. You don't have to figure things out. You don't need to learn anything. Uh, it, it's really nice that you have this speaker uh, because that means that if you're working on a project, you can just take it down, you turn it on because it's got battery as well. And you, oh, okay, mm, this, this is kind of cool. You plug it in and then you play it on a song. I like the organ waveform. And then uh, go through some modes. And then the glitchy. That one is also really fun when you meet it sing it. And like uh, another waveform. Well, yeah. Let's uh, move on. I fucking sh This is not a very serious video anyways. Uh, I just figured since I get so many questions. Great framing. <laughs> Stretch Weaver from Drolo. Very cool pedal. Not only because he made a version just for me with the Magpie on it, but it's a really cool one. So what it does is you, you plug one source in, you plug another source in, and then those sources sidechain each other. But with sidechaining, I mean effect things. You have a bunch of different fucked up modes and the, the, that gets glued and now you can see probably that this one is blinking because it's sinking <laughs> okay let's completely destroy this with the pedal It. I don't think I need to show you more with this. I don't think there's anything more to show you. Maybe there is. I just really wanted to do it because I get so many questions. So this was like a hit. Here you go. Now I can just link this if you wanna when you ask. It's the Critter and Guitari 
Septavox. There you go. Thank you for watching. And uh, I, yeah.